Here is another section of what you know had to be a thickened keratotic uh, lesion on the skin. And because at this power, you can see these little horn cysts with world keratinaceous material in the center. You know instantly this is seborrheic keratosis, just like the last case. Here's the little rim of normal skin. In this area, the uh, acanthocytes or the stratum spinosum or the prickle cells have proliferated. You can see some increase of melanocytes along the surface as well. But mostly, you could see that the thing that is the bulk of the tumor is actually uh, these keratinized horned cysts, which are so diagnostic for this disease. Here is the normal epidermis. You may see a couple of uh, melanocytes here at the base. Here's a nice thin stratum corneum. Here's an area where there is proliferation of the uh, stratum spinosum or prickle cell layer. Increased numbers of uh, invaginated keratinized material having a circular or world configuration. And in addition, sometimes, sometimes more than others, you can see that there is a nice rim of melanocytes along the uh, basal layer as well. Classic, textbook, drop dead, easy, slam dunk, seborrheic keratosis. This is not caused or related to sun exposure like actinic keratosis. This is related to just proliferation of the epidermis forming these invaginated cysts. Also notice that this was a really good surgeon because he got the entire tumor and didn't take much tissue around it. But look, he got it right there along the base, didn't he? This is a good surgical incision. Thank you very much.